Hi, today we're in the Great Rift Valley, Kenya, and are about to explore the Lake Nakuru Game Reserve, home to one of the greatest bird spectaculars in the world, and a World Heritage Site. Uh, just entering Guru Park and here we have a leopard fast asleep. Oh, he's, uh, he's, he's walking up. He's looking straight in front of him. Yes, he is. Oh. Because we haven't got the... Yeah, he's, 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 he's head's off, tilted to towards the back now. But he's not asleep, he's just sort of lying on his chin. Now he's raising his head a bit. He's looking forward. There are four species of giraffe in Africa. The Rothschild's giraffe is a subspecies of the northern giraffe. It is easily recognized as it has no markings on its lower legs. Lake Nakuru is a small, shallow, alkaline saline lake located in the East Rift Valley, Kenya, Equatorial Africa. The lake surface is 5,755 feet above sea level has an average depth of one foot and a maximum depth of six feet. It's a world heritage site and home to one of the greatest wild bird extravaganzas in the world. One million flamingos strutting their stuff. Flamingos get their pink colour from the food they eat. Flamingos dine on microscopic algae and brine shrimp, which are abundant in the shallow waters of this soda lake. Flamingos are filter feeders. When feeding, Flamingos place their heads upside down in the water with their bills pointing towards their feet. Sweeping their heads from side to side and using the tongue to pump water through their bills, they trap food in the comb-like filter plates. The name Flamingo is derived from the Spanish word flamenco, which translated means flame. Flamingos are monogamous. They have one mate and they stay together while laying one egg per year. Flamingos feed their young crop milk. Both male and females produce a secretion called milk. Flamingos display many different forms of ritual behaviors. During the head flagging ritual, they turn their heads from side to side. The marching ritual is quite common and consists of a group of synchronized flamingos strutting through the water and changing direction, all at the same time, seemingly at will.
baboons. Have you got your glasses on? Anubis, or olive baboons, are very social creatures and live in groups called troops. Within each group, males and females have social hierarchies. Female dominance is inherited. The youngest daughter assumes the rank below her mother and above her older sisters. Males, however, must use aggressive behaviour to gain dominance within the group. Males are larger than females and have longer hairs around the neck and head regions. All of baboons have tails, but they cannot use them to grab or hold objects. Instead, the tail has a thick paddy, allowing the baboon to use it as a cushion while sitting. Here's a few fun facts about this species. All of baboons and humans share 91% similar DNA. All of baboons are the most widespread of all baboon species. Large males can weigh up to 50 kilograms. All of baboons have canines that can be larger than that of lions. All of baboons are omnivorous creatures. They can hunt down small prey when food is scarce. There's some cool preening going on down there. All of baboons have a social hierarchy within their group, where the high-ranked females get more privileges than the low-ranked females. All of baboons are highly aggressive and intelligent monkeys. They use their brains and sharp canines whenever the situation demands improvisation. In parts of East Africa, the olive baboon and the elephant have formed a symbiotic relationship with each other. The baboons are free to use the elephant's watering hole, and in return, they provide a lookout service by emitting a loud call when predators are nearby. There's something lying down. There's seven. Further over. There's seven. One, two, three, four. Crazy. Seven. Seven. You have looked. By the, by the rhinos? No, if you, if you look right of the rhinos, yeah. past the acacia tree, yes. above the zebra, yeah. there's a big black lump, sort of, as if it's oh. lying down. That is it a is, uh, hippopotamus? 
the buffalo. Oh, it's a rhino. Not a buffalo. It's a rhino. Yeah, and it's in the water. Yeah. Sort of it wallowing in the water, isn't it? Oh, in that puddle over there. Yeah. Behind the tree, probably. Yeah. Right. If you come to the front, you'll be able to see it. So there's eight. Despite their names, both the white rhino and the black rhino are the same dark grey-brown colour. The name white rhino is a misinterpretation of the Afrikaner's word white, referring to its square upper lip. Black rhinos have hooked lips. Both species of these armoured giants are vegetarians and need to eat a large amount of food every day. Once thought to be extinct, the white rhino population of less than 100 was found in 1895 in South Africa. After more than a century of protection, the species now numbers over 20,000 and has been reclassified near threatened.